Hi everybody, how are you? It's Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio and welcome to Gina B. Aaron's Design Team Project for June 2019 and it's swap time. And what we are doing is we have swapped supplies with a partner. Um, we sent each other, uh, our partner, an envelope full of goodies and we are to create some art with it. So, my partner is Shell C from Paper Actio, Actio, I can never say it right, Shell, I apologize, um, Paper Actio Studios, and she sent me some really cool things here. And by the way, by the way, Shell, this envelope is awesome. Awesome. sure I have everything out of here. Okay. She sent me a really beautiful little note. And I have some butterflies here, some angel wings, some tags. Hmm, this looks a little familiar. This is one of Gina's Digi Downloads. And one of these. Some of Gina's stickers. Ooh, beautiful book text, a tag. Mmm, vintage music. I love it. Some of Gina's stencils that she has jelly plated onto book text. These are cute. Mmm, love it. Ooh, love this alligator skin. Oh, I can't remember. Is this mulberry paper? What is this called? What is it called? I've been wanting to get some. I don't have any. This is beautiful. Look at that. And look at the yellow one. Gorgeous. And then we have some, some more papers from gel printing. And this is one of my favorite things to do. I'm so glad she was a, she did this. Um, I love to be able to stamp onto um, tissue paper and then send it off because tissue paper just melts right into the background. So isn't this cool? These are all Gina's stamps. Some of these I already have, but I like that she stamped them on here because now they'll be easy to carry around because I won't be able to use all of this in the project, but I'm loving this. Loving it, loving it. I already have an idea of what I think I'm going to do. It's kind of actually been percolating in my brain for a while now. And this is um, some of Gina's new stencils, the atomic, the atomic ones. Okay, let me get all of this stuff organized and get myself organized here. Then we'll get to creating something with all this lovely, beautiful stuff. Oh, I forgot. And she sent me a little packet of goodies. So let me get myself organized together and we'll get going. Okay, I know it's probably a little bit hard to see, but I've sketched out some lines on my paper. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I'm going to do some Roy G. Biv, which is code for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, which are the colors that make up the rainbow. And I need to clean these out. I'll be right back. All right, let's try that again. We are going to do the primary colors. I'm going to try and do the primary colors. Good grief. Okay. 
And I'm just going to start by outlining them as best I can. You know what? I think I want some wrap underneath this. God bless the man who invented deli wrap. All right. I think while I'm painting my rainbow, I will go ahead and put this and fast forward because I know this is just breathtaking to watch me paint a rainbow. <laughs> so let's get this in fast forward for you. good thing that I fast forwarded through all of that for you because it's the weekend before the 4th of July and there are fireworks going off outside my outside my window over this way and I'm telling you it's rocking my house and my poor dog is beside herself she's in my son's bedroom just shaking the poor thing but anyway so while you were listening to music I went ahead and as you can see, this is all done. I also painted and added an extra because I needed an extra, um, the paintbrushes that are from set 11 of Gina's um, stamp set. 
one of her stamp sets that are available in her Etsy store. And also I will put a link to her Etsy store in the description below. And there will be a coupon code for you to use. Please use that coupon code. You will get 15% off your, your purchase. So please make sure that you stop over there. Um, she has got stamps and stencils and digi downloads. Tons of stuff. Um, her stuff is fabulous. And like I said, make sure you use that um, coupon code and she will greatly appreciate it. I will greatly appreciate it. And I'll thank you for that. But okay, so now that we've got that done, I'm going to move this together off to the side. And then I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to show you a little trick that you may or may not know. We are going to take these apart. I may have to wet this more than once. That's okay. And this is really the easiest way to get this done. Look at that. Ta-da! Now I'm going to go around this even more, but right now I just want to separate these out. The nice thing about using this also is that when you adhere it, it will virtually melt into the background. So it will appear as though it was already on the page. I was like, where's that blue coming from? Duh, blue paint. Okay. Come on, let's see how careful we can be around that blue. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, and now I want to take these two. I like this one because it's nice and dark. Of course, it's got to be close to this one because my life, that's just the way it goes. All right, let's see how we do. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. That is perfect, my friends. I can't remember who taught me this little trick, but I'm so glad they did. And then I don't want the diamonds. Let's save those for another day. Because this particular atomic um, uh, stamp set I do not have. So I'm really excited to be able to use it. Thank you, Michelle. I think um, it's really kind of funny because I think the stamps that I stamped out for her, she didn't have those. And I didn't ask her. It just kind of worked out that way. So I really thought that was kind of cool. Well, which ones do I like better, this one or this one? I think I like these better. I'm running out of water. I 
I may have to get more water in this. Dang. Okay. Trying to get the most out of here without having to get up again. Guess I better go over this way first. Kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? up, put these to the side, then I'll be back to show you what we're going to do with these. Okay, now that I have these all trimmed out and painted, um, I'm going to trim these out a little bit more. And then I'm going to be gluing them down with um, matte medium by uh, DecoArt Media. Good stuff. All the products I'm using today are by DecoArt, Americana, all of their, all of the paints, all of the mediums that I'm using are all by DecoArt. Um, I am part of the Helping Artist program. But I use their products, not just because I'm part of the Helping Artist Program, but because I love their products. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these out. And when I get to doing some of the um, bigger things, I'll come on back. You don't want to watch me trim these out. That's boring. So let me get these all trimmed down, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm down to putting on my very last... paintbrush on here. I'm just taking my matte medium. I'm going to brush it on first because I'm going to sandwich this after I get it all lined up here nicely. I'm just going to bring it down so they all come together and they're all pretty neat. They're all pretty level here. So now it's glued on the bottom and on the top. So that seals it in very nicely. Just take one more coat and just go over the whole group of them. All right. Now, I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Look at how nice that turned out. And oh yes, I splattered my rainbow. <laughs> Didn't that turn out cute, cute, cute? I will highlight these um, when it dries. But for now... Let's set this over to the side. And I have all of these. And I'm going to basically do the same thing where I'm just going to. Oh, by the way, yes, I have painted them. You 
these smaller ones are going to be a tag. So let me see. I'm just going to glue this on here first. Sometimes this gets kind of ick. Your fingers get a little sticky. Because it's tissue, you want to be very careful with it. It also helps to have a pair of tweezers. And I tore it, but that's okay. Because as it as it goes down, I'm gonna go from the middle and out. You won't see it. There we go. Turn this around here. And there we go. Okay. You see? Now it's a little cloudy right now because the the matte medium is wet, but when it dries, it'll look lovely. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do that to the rest of these and I'll be back. Okay. I have these all dried. I put these three together. I'm going to poke a hole in the top of these because I want them to be like a tag. And this is my crocodile. Let's see if I can get all three of them in here. Ooh. Now I'm going to have to play with this stupid thing. There we go. All right, so I want these are all tight up at the top. And I want them to be right. All three of them. I've got a firm grip, so they're not going anywhere while I finagle this. All right, there. And look at that. All three in the same spot. Perfect. Perfect. I do need to kind of poke those out. They're still a little bit sticky from the matte medium. Okay. Let me get these ready to glue down onto my sheet and we'll be right back. Okay. I don't know how much of that you heard in the last part. I forgot that my headphones turned off <laughs> or my speaker. Well, you know, this thing. <laughs> Ay, 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 it's been one of those days. Okay, if I hadn't told you yet, these little things here are going to be pockets. So I'm going to very close to the edge here. Sorry. Try and keep you in frame. That is the hardest thing. 
this glue here that I'm using is Art Glitter Glue. And it really, really sticks quickly. And thoroughly. So I'm just going to set this down right about here. I'm just going to hold it for a second. I'm going to glue the rest of these down and I'll be back. Okay, just a few more things to go here. I have these stuck in the pockets. They're a little bit sticky because this is still kind of sticky, but that's all right. I got a few things to put on our tags. This first one here. Let's see if I can get this off. <laughs> I'm always horrible at trying to separate these. Ah! I don't have any fingernails, so I always keep them cut off. Oh, look at that. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, the first one. going to say be peaceful and there's a reason why I've chosen the, the phrases that I have because the day that this airs will bring the end of pride month and it's pride weekend Hence the reason for the rainbow. And also because we should be prideful not just for others in our community that are different than us. They're really not. Oh, come on. You should take pride in who you are no matter what your status it's really not a status it's no different than anything else so be peaceful be kind there's no excuse none to not be kind i don't care who you are no excuse so be kind And the last one, actually it's not the last one. I have one more to go after this. Come on. Oh, I almost had it. I see it. There it is. Be peaceful, be kind, and above all else, be tolerant. You are no better than anybody else. I am no better than anybody else. Be tolerant. We all need to be tolerant of each other. Period. This world would be a much better place if everybody was a little bit more tolerant of each other. And the last thing I want to put on here, because when you're peaceful and you're tolerant and you're kind, one last thing to put on here. 
for God's sakes, just be a decent human being. It's not that difficult. And that's really the whole meaning behind all of this. It's not just pride. It's called be a decent human being. There is no excuse not to be. There we go. All right, I have a little bit of cleaning up to do on here and then I will be back. And actually, you know what? I'll be back with some pictures for you of um, all the outlining and everything. So that'll be at the end of the video. But this is my page for June 2019 for Gina B. Aaron's Designs. And just about everything on here, except the paint and paper, is all Gina's. Oh, the ribbon's mine, too. It's from my stash. I'll link everything in the description below, um, including the paint. But as always, have a great rest of your week. And have a happy 4th of July. And I will see you next month for Gina B. D Gina B. Aaron's designs. And uh, have a happy fourth. Take, call, take care, y'all. And remember, be nice. It's not that difficult. Bye-bye.